Hey YouTube, I'm um, going to be doing a deck profile today on the Genesis Witches deck. So since it is that time of the year, um, the Witches are kind of like in season with the Pale Moon and the Dark Irregulars and all those type of things. So I'll be doing deck profiles on these two. Uh, I'll do this one today. We'll do the Shadow one later. Um, so the Witches, they did not get any significant changes aside from just the Stride deck uh, in terms of what came out in Absolute Judgment. And the Genesis Witches, honestly, compared to the Shadow Witches, the Genesis Witches, um, they have gotten a little bit of support throughout the year. Very minor. Um, but what they did get is actually pretty useful. Um, but surprisingly, um, time has been good to the Genesis Witches. Like, the Genesis Witches have held up very well compared to the Shadow Ones. The Shadow Ones need a lot of help and a lot of work. Um, and that's mainly because of effect triggers that have entered the game during the strike format significantly, which have really hurt uh, the Shadow Witches viability. But anyway, we're going to talk about the Genesis Witches today. Um, they're still really fun. They're basically like their big beatdown style, Genesis style of play, um, with some a little bit few ways here and there to gain hand advantage. Um, but anyway, for uh, Witch Snake, Witch Mint, I don't understand the name. I don't know why they say, don't just say it's Witch Snake Mint or whatever, but four of her... Uh, for some people, for some reason, people don't like this card as much as the other a uh, grade three. That one being a uh, four fennel. I honestly still think uh, mint is better. Fennel's fennel does her thing where she like when you legion, she soul blesses three at the end of the turn that she attacked the vanguard. You can look at five, uh, and then add two cards with witch in the name to the hand. Um, but the only thing is fennel is kind of like a one time thing. Uh, whereas this one, if you can be stacking the soul, then and the, and this thing can continuously soul charge uh, once every turn. It can soul charge three if it needs to, so it can help uh, do its big thing. Basically, this one is for power. This one's for advantage, hand advantage. Um, but yeah, people tend to like fennel more. Um, I've tested the deck a couple enough times now where I still prefer mint. Um, but I do agree that Fennel's Legion skill is quite useful, and you can let the Stride uh, be the offense. But that's still same lineup as it's always been. Uh, there are not a whole lot of Genesis uh, Vanguards to choose from, or Genesis Witch Vanguards. Uh, next, I'm running three Witch of Golden Eagles Jasmine. So this is the Legion made for Fennel. Uh, when she's placed on R, if you have a Witch Vanguard, you can counter blast one, Soul Charge three, and then she becomes a 12k that turn. Uh, the next grade two, whoops, the next grade two is, yeah, three, Black Snake Witch Chicory. So, this is the, as you could guess from the art, this is the Legion Mate for Mint. Um, she's the 12k for the Genesis Witches. Um, the only reason why I'm running three of each of these, and I don't like really running three uh, of a Legion Mate because of consistency reasons. I don't like it when I rode one of them. And then one goes in the damage zone. There's literally only one left in the deck. If I draw into it, then there's kind of a problem. So, I mean, I've seen that happen quite a few times. Um, but that's why running four is the best way if you're running Legion. Uh, but I did opt to run only three because you want to try to Legion as fast as you can. Um, potentially even before you stride. Uh, but not really. Like you can still stride before Legion, but y your clove, uh, the stri the witch stride unit won't be as good, um, unless you have two in the heart. So it's always best to Legion as fast as you can. Um, but I opted because I wanted to run uh, more different variety of units. One of them being Witch of White Rabbits Cardamon. So this is basically the replacement to Chamomile. It's better than Chamomile in witches because. Uh, it does the same thing that Chamomil does when it's so blessed, you can't one call it. But if you have a Witch Vanguard, she gets 2k for the turn that you call her. So she becomes an 11k attacker. Uh, but I wanted to run this. I may take it out. Uh, but it is an annoying um, card to the opponent to generate advantage for, for the Witches. Basically, this is the Maiden of Libra clone uh, for them. When this unit attack hits, Counter Blast 2, draw a card. So... Um, always use the, if you're using these cards, I highly recommend just attacking into a rear guard. Never attack the vanguard with this card if you do intend, uh, to use the skill to draw a card, uh, because when you kill their rear guard, uh, 
and then you can also draw you just plus two of the opponent because you minus them one and you gained one straight up so you plus two effectively so that's why i like this card in here it's an annoying pressure card um but if i wasn't going to run it then obviously i'd run four of each of the legion mates um, but i just opted to try to change up the lineup a little bit without messing up the consistency that much for the grade ones four witch of strawberries framboy framboise you gotta run the witch perfect guard if you're using fennel uh, because like if the fennel skill is look at five and reveal two witches uh, and then add them to your hand. So this, you can potentially use Fennel to search perfect guards um, in that regard. So yeah, four of those is a must do. Then four, Witch of Quill Pens, Oneance. So this card is really good. This is basically the uh, Melissa equivalent when it's Soul Blasted, Counter Blast 1, Superior Call It, and then if you have a Witch Vanguard, it gains 2k. So it becomes a 7k, I mean no, a 9k grade 1. Um, so, like, if you call two of them, that forms uh, 18k column. Uh, you can call it to the front row as a 9k if you have nothing else. Um, those are pretty bad situations, but then you can swing into a per uh, swing into a uh, interceptor. Um, but it's like nine and twelve makes 21, so there's always that too. So it can be used to help uh, increase the power of the deck. So we run four copies of it. Next, three, Witch of Melon's Thyme. Thyme is really good at setting up for Legion. This is a, a card that I may bump up to four, uh, just so that I can Legion before I stride, if I have to. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, it's basically between these two in terms of which one you want to run more of. Uh, and then the only other grade one is three, Bellini. This is a 10k, so you can rush them down. Uh, she can still attack to a 9k grade 2 as a grade 1. So, really good at keeping advantage early. That's how you have to play against stride decks. You have to try to capitalize on the fact that those decks don't do a whole lot in the early game, whereas these decks can. Um, for grade zeros, 4, which is familiar, Shiroma. So, this is the new which critical trigger for Genesis. It's very nice. Uh, it draws you a card. Basically, it has a main phase skill. You can shuffle the deck. You put on the top of the deck, shuffle the deck, then draw a card, look at three, search for one for among them, and put the rest in the drop zone. So this, along with, uh, with Thyme, is how you set up the drop zone for Legion as early as you can. Um, so essentially what you want to do, ideally what you want to do with these is search for these cards Anytime you see either one of these, you want to put these in the soul. This is probably prioritized over this because there's only three of this. Um, there's only two, or four of this. Um, but yeah, these are the main key cards you want to put in the soul. Um, and that's that's kind of it. Uh, try to win the game. So there are other cards you can run to stack, refill the soul. Um, but I'm not running those. Uh, because I try to win the game as fast as I can, and in order to do that, I run 12 critical in this deck. I've always been running 12 critical in, with the Genesis Witches, and it's always paid off really well. So now we've got eight Witch Criticals, and then four of Kukuri Hime, because she's just the best alternate one. Um, and then four of the Witch Heal. So this is the original Genesis Witch he Heal trigger. Um, so all Genesis, except for all Witches, except for Kukuri Hime, that's like the only card. Uh, that's not a witch in the deck. Uh, and then the starter is Witch of Prohibited Book Cinnamon. She basically, when attack hits the Vanguard during the ballot, she boosts at a grade 3 or greater. So it could, it can be a stride unit. Um, you can put her in the soul and then soul charge 2. So she just gives 3 to the soul total. Um, it's a very good starter for the witches. They don't have a whole lot of other stuff. Um, but she's got witch in the name, so she works. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is like run the grade 3 searcher maybe. Um... But this deck can be counterblast heavy, so I and that can fail, so I prefer this. For the stride deck, I am running two Witch Queen of Holy Water Clove. Uh, she, if you're in Legion, she's she's at her best when you're in Legion, when you have two heart basically. When she attacks Soul Blast six, uh, and you have a Witch in the heart, then your uh, this unit gets all your units with Witch in the name get five k. Um, so, yeah, it's fairly good, and then if you have two or more in the heart, she gets a critical. So that's why I say that she's most optimal when you've already, uh, legioned. 
So she could potentially be a really good second stride, assuming you Legion at some point. Um, first stride very, uh, can also be good at just pressuring the opponent. Again, the deck does run 12 critical. If the opponent doesn't know that, then they're going to be in for a rude awakening. Um, two Van Grindir, because why not? Two Doom Brace. He's also really good. He can also refill the soul if he needs to. Um, and then two Tire, because Tire can be a very good first stride in here. Um, just to set up the soul. Because like I said earlier, this deck, I mean, there are witch cards that when they're soul blasted, you can soul charge two. Uh, or things like that. Um, I don't really want to run those because they're kind of slow and, and kind of gimmicky now. So I'd rather just use Tire like one time and soul charge as much as I need to. Um, so two of him. And then the remaining is just like the one ofs that I I can use potentially. So one Fenrir, uh, one Dion. One Madu because I have Legion, so in the late game, or let's say like late game situations where uh, you can stride for free and you don't have enough soul to do anything. So, uh, I mean, most of the time I probably use Tire, um, but there are maybe some situations where this guy would be useful. So, one of him is here, um, and then three Iris and two Hanasatsuki. So, Stride Deck is not a whole lot different from the other ones, with the addition of just these two, mainly. Um, but, yeah, that's basically the Witches. Let me know what you guys think of the Genesis Witches. Probably don't see a whole lot of them uh, played currently, but uh, may who knows? Maybe we'll see them show up again when they get uh, better support. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.